Good evening, guys. Welcome to my dual Tate setup. And tonight, we will be featuring the PlayStation 2. Got the Hori VLX running. PlayStation 2. And you got Ryan 3 running on a Mitsubishi Dimantron 21-inch PC CRT. Dimantron uh, is a... Uh, off-brand from the Sony Trinitron, which it uses a Sony Trinitron tube inside, which this is the cream of the crop. 21 inches of absolute 31 kilohertz heaven. And it has two VGA inputs in the back. So I was not only able to get my North American PlayStation 2 hooked up, but also my Japanese one. Now what's really cool about the way I have this set up is I have this set up through the retro tink 2x the retro tink 2x is a device made by mice chi about a couple years ago that allows that is what was intended to be used for retro consoles to line double 240p to 480p systems on modern flat screens well i decided to take it upon myself to test this on a crt since there are very few videos of the retro tink 2x being used on a crt I already, I've already have a first glance glimpse of what a 240p game would look on a 480p screen. I already know what to expect since I have already owned an OSSC. But I wanted to take upon myself to try a 480i game being Bob Deandre laced into 40p through the RetroTink 2X. Now, everyone knows that Bob Deandre lacing isn't really favored by everyone since it causes flicker and it might give some a headache. Now what really sets the Retro Tink 2X apart from every other device I've ever used is its amazing smoothing feature. Its smoothing feature is so good that it literally hides 90, 95% of the flicker. It smooths out the pixels and the game looks as if it's a native 480p game. I am not joking. If I zoom in, there is zero flicker. Normally on a 480i game, you would see a crap load of flicker, but this is so smooth. The ship is completely smoothed out. And everything looks the way it should. I had never thought that a $100 device would perform this well, especially on a CRT. I feel like this is a must-own device if you hate 480i, like myself. And this essentially, in my opinion, turns basically every 480i PS2 game into 480p. No one has tested that this out. Well, I'm glad to show the world that this is now possible. Thanks to Mike Chi. And speaking of Mike Chi, I have Strikers 1945 running on this beautiful 20 inch KVFS 120 CRT television. Running Strikers 1945 via Pi, uh, Pi to Gemma running SCART to Component with another one of Mike Chi's products, the RGB2 Comp. The RGB2 Comp takes an RGB signal, transcodes it into 480p, but what is nice is there is zero calibration required and the picture is beautiful right out of the gate. So out, off right out of the gate, you're getting an arcade quality picture, no calibration or adjustments needed. Kind of reminds me of an Astro City one player. And it fits perfectly with this 20 inch screen. Another spot, and going back on the topic with this monitor, this monitor is absolutely top notch because not only can it run for, uh, 480p stuff, but it has two VGA inputs. So. 
I decided to take it upon myself and incorporate the Japanese PlayStation 2 into this setup. And with the flick of a button, boom, you got Dodon Pachi Dai Ojo running side by side with Raiden 3. With the VLX. Poof. And since I have these adapters right next to each other, all I have to do is simply take one, put it inside another. It'll fail. <laughs> it's hard doing with one hand. I'm struggling. All right, so now I got a 240p game running through the OSSC, running through RGB SCART 240p. And I put it in line double mode to get an amazing 480p image with scan lines. This trick is basically taking a 240p signal, line doubling it to 480p, and then cutting the resolution in half with the built-in scan lines that the OSSC has. There are different settings through, for the scan lines, but I just decided to leave it on this one. And in my opinion, this looks just as good as a PVM. And I've owned PVMs, but this really, really takes the cake. So you're really getting a two-in-one with this monitor because not only can you play pseudo 480p, but you could also do pseudo 240p. And you could swap between them at the click of a button. Absolute insanity. Absolute insanity. But yeah, I just wanted to show off my new Tate setup. Um, took a while to hook the PS2s up. But yeah, incredible stuff. Final words. RetroSync 2X is amazing. Fantastic device for turning... 480i PS2 games into 480p via its smoothing filter. OSSC, I don't have to say anything about. OSSC already got the word out there. And my cheese, RGB to comp. Best RGB to component transcoder I've ever used. Zero calibration. This is literally a one-to-one -one with the RGB signal coming out of my super gun. This, this is literally identical to RGB. I mean, you can't argue with this. And once again, I can't thank Mike Chi enough for his products. I can't I cannot wait for his Rad 2X or his component cables for various systems to come out. This guy has literally changed the retro gaming landscape for me and I will support every product that he puts out moving forward. His Rad 2X looks really nice and his component cables look like they're going to be top notch as always. This guy does top-notch work and I feel like everything he does should be supported because he does it for the love of retro gaming makes a million off of nerds like myself <laughs> might not be the most exciting video to many for some but you know for nerds like me I had to get the word of mouth out for the retro tink 2x as I had no idea this would be able to really turn, essentially turn 480i games into 480p games with the smoothing filter turned on. 
zero flicker. Absolute insanity. Show this, show off this cave one more time before I end this video. Absolutely insane. Oh yeah, I'll end this video. Um, support Mike Chi. <laughs> Later.